Hello everyone, Shadow Mario 41 here. Welcome back to Let's Play Soul Calibur 2. Last time we beat Inferno at the end of the last video in this mission, and it's time to continue on with the rest of the extra missions. Um, there is some faint music coming from across the hall. I'm hoping that you guys can't hear it. I'm hoping the camera doesn't pick it up. And uh, if it does, I'm sorry, but not much I can really do about it. It is soft though, so it shouldn't interfere too much with the game volume, but whatever. Also, my voice is a little scratchy. Sorry about that. It's been a long week. I'm sure it's been a long week for you guys, too. <laughs> so, yeah, I am filming this on Friday night, and this video is supposed to be up by Friday night, so kind of on the clock. But regardless, let's begin. We're going to go into Merrick, uh, clean up some of these missions around here. We're going to start with Sirius, City in the Sky, and this is a pretty difficult mission. Uh, just because it's one of those timer missions, Cervantes. the timer increases with each enemy defeat. But we do get the Zelda theme, so that's cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. Costume by Cervantes, and what the hell is he doing? Wow, that sucks. I did not expect to get owned so much by the first opponent that I faced, but of course this video has to start off with a failure. I mean, it wouldn't be a Soul Calibur video if it didn't, but I did class up, so see? There's always a silver lining. Here we go. Alright, our opponent changed. That's kind of good, considering the fact that Cervantes was murdering me. Ah, damn it. I hate when you go to guard and I think I said that already. I hate when you go to guard and pack and the enemy just stands there. Damn it. Whoa. <laughs> that was pretty cool. See, it's not always the flashiest of attacks that are successful. Luckily, we get our health back. That would really suck if we didn't get that back. But I don't really want to take my chances with Assassin. Running low on time, low on health. What the hell? Go away! I'm trying to ring you out. That pillar apparently said otherwise. That's alright. Only 20 seconds though. See, that's the thing with these types of missions. 20 seconds is really not enough time to do a fair fight. Especially when the enemy has health regeneration. Come on, come on! Alright, I actually did do a fair fight in that one though. No ring outs. Next one would definitely have to get a ring out though. Sorry, but it's the way it is. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Whoa, didn't expect that. Come on, let me grab you. Go away. Alright, that's the end of that. Our last opponent, look who it is. It's Lizard Man. Let's see if we can take down Lizard Man. Shouldn't be too difficult. I am running out of time, though, so I do need to go for another ring out. Die! Alright! Mission succeeded. That is very tough though with the time constraint. But look at all the gold we get. We get 10,000 gold from beating that one mission. Awesome. Next. Crystal Mine. Combatants are launched high into the air when knocked on the ground and knockback is increased. I believe these were, if not the same, very similar conditions to when we did this first. And he's Astaroth. Definitely not the best enemy to fight under these conditions. But he's dead. So that's okay. That was a pretty cool death, actually. Pretty epic. And we classed up Platinum Warrior. I believe I said in a previous video, but I'll reiterate. Um, the highest level you need to get is 72. I've never gotten higher than 76. Not sure if it's possible, but I guess we'll find out one way or another. Let's clear the rest of these before we move on. Uh, this is the air combos mission. It's the same thing, essentially. Oh, Yoshimitsu. At least we got a different opponent. 
Alright, watch this. Yeah, you teleported. Don't you feel happy? Damn it. At least that move took off a ton of health. Yeah, nice. That's what we gotta do. Mission succeeded. Yoshimitsu was doing some pretty crazy teleporting moves, though. That's one thing about him that's very unorthodox. But, no matter. Oh, the enemies recover their health over time. Defeat all enemies under this condition. Well, I'm gonna change the Megaton Hammer. Just cause. Let's do it. The Grand Shrine of Merrick. Versus Ivy. Wonderful. An opponent I suck against. Ah. Uh, here we go. Three opponents. These are pretty dangerous opponents, too. I figured out a somewhat of a strategy against Ivy, though. Oh, wow, that was really quick. Um, you have to, like, really be in her face all the time. If you're, like, if you give her the distance, she will kill you. Uh, this is Necrid. We've seen Necrid, of course, but... I did some research, and actually I found out that Necrid is considered to be the best character in the game. And it's actually banned in a lot of tournaments. And I guess that's because he pretty much has the best moves of every character combined into one character. So yeah, it is really cheap. But he's dead. And it, yeah, he's actually banned in a lot of professional tournaments, so I th thought that was pretty interesting when I read that. No this is Tristy. <laughs> Tristy, you fool. You think you can defeat me with a name like Tristy? My ring out throw says nay. And I class up to an Iron Knight. How about that? Hoorah! Class up! Huzzah! Alright, next, we are going to go up here and try the Eternal Palace. Ah, uh, this is the Falling Means Certain Death mission. I love this mission. Unless I fall, then I, then I hate it, but... Oh, Raphael, it'll be fun to see you get blown up by a landmine. <laughs> or see myself get blown up by a landmine in two seconds. <laughs> I think that was the fastest failure yet. De no, that definitely was the fastest failure yet. I'm going to use the Bigeron Sword. Why? Because we have to end this quickly. Versus Raphael. Raphael, time for some revenge. Final battle. Fight. Oh, what the hell? What, the opponent doesn't die? Oh, come on. you got to be kidding me. Wow, that's so cheap. The opponent doesn't die by that, but I do. Well, I cleared it, so it doesn't matter. And I'm a bronze knight. And I'm switching away from that Megaton hammer. I mean, away from the uh, Bigeron sword. Castle of the Dam. The enemy is quick and my health decreases over time. Lovely. This will probably be the last mission of this video. Alright, we are back. Time to do this. This mission is really stacked against you. This is my fourth attempt, including the one I showed on camera. So, I mean, I haven't been at this for too long, but much longer than I would have liked to be. I mean, it's usually easy to beat the first opponent. Valdo's not too hard. But it's just when your health decreases. That's what really makes it hard. Ivy, come on. I already said I don't want to deal with you. Ow. Come here! My health is going down. Do you not realize this? Actually, she probably does. Die! Hurry up! Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, Yoshimitsu, let's see what you got. Nice. Alright, I think we gotta go for a ring out next. 
Just so we can get some uh, uh, some health back. So we are not doing well on health right now. You're dead. Alright, we should be good against Assassin, but that's a big uh, should. Alright, maybe not. Maybe you should just die. Yeah, death sounds like a good idea. Alright, I have to go, but let's see what the new feature is first. This is Shadow Mario 41. I got Assassin as a selectable character, but I have to go. So, see you next time for more Let's Play Soul Calibur 2. Later, folks.